Back to another one of our videos today, everybody. We've got a fun craft for you today. We're gonna to be making our own bookmarks and we're gonna decorate with vegetable stamps. So for this craft, you're gonna need a cutting board, a knife, and some adult supervision to help you out with that. Uh, a few vegetables of your choosing. I've got some that I like to use here, uh, but we'll talk about some other options too. You're gonna to need some ink pads, um, some paint will do in a pinch, and not necessary, but I like to use a little bit of twine in the hole punch as well. And I'll show you what that's for at the end. Uh, so we've got our bookmark here, and this is just a little piece of brown cardstock that I've cut to size. Uh, you can use anything, any sort of construction paper, um, thin cardboard, even a thicker printer paper. And then you're going to want to get your veggies and you're going to want to start to cut them. So I really like to do celery. Let's take a look at what kind of shapes celery can make for us. So I'm going to cut us a clean end of our celery there. Just put our scraps over to the side for later. Now let's see. Let's try... Let's go blue first with the celery. Yeah, get it in there nice and good, and then stamp it right on. So you can see, the eh, blue maybe didn't work quite so well. So we'll try another one with a fresh end. Let's go with red. It also might be that this celery is just super watery, so the ink maybe doesn't want to stick onto it. Oh, that one looks much better there. So celery gets you that nice little crescent, crescent shape. Um, what's really fun is if you bundle a bunch of celery together and we'll toss these in our scrap pile and then you can get a nice little pattern up there. So we'll try this out with purple. And this is just a partial bundle of celery, but if you use a full bunch of celery, a lot of times those uh, full bunch stamps will come out looking kind of like flowers, which I think is really nice. So that's kind of what our celery is doing. Let's take a look at some of the other vegetables we brought in. So this one, kind of out of season, okra. Okra makes a super, super cool uh, stamp. So let's go with orange. The okra is kind of slimy, but that shouldn't stop us from getting some cool stamps. So I like the okra maybe the best. It gives us a nice tiny little flower shape. And so I'm going to put a few more of those on there just for fun. Da -da -da. Just like that. <coughs> uh, and now let's experiment a little bit with some other stuff. This is a lemon. I've never done the lemon before, but I've heard that you can get some really cool patterns. So I'm going to cut the end of this lemon off towards the, towards the edge because I don't want a huge cross section, right? I still want it to be able to fit in the stamp pad. And even still, I'm going to have to use one of my bigger stamp pads. So let's see, for a lemon, what do you say? We've got black, blue, red, and blue. <laughs> well, let's try out blue. Let's give blue a shot. very strong smell. Let's go ahead and turn our bookmark over. Nice and lemony. <laughs> so let's say we want to build off of that. You can do uh, 
one of our celery stalks here. We've got a nice blue lemon part up there. Let's get some uh, some contrast with some yellow celery pieces. There we are, we got some stuff going on underneath there. And then let's finish it out with some okra. We'll do some red okra. And there you have it, a vegetable stamp bookmark. So you could do, you could just kind of leave it like this and be perfectly fine. You just want to leave it out and let it dry for 10 or so minutes. Um, but what I like to do is kind of give it just a little bit extra flair. Uh, so I'm gonna take a hole punch and punch a hole in the very top of it. I'm gonna two single hole punches here. This is just a regular one, but some actually punches into a heart shape. Um, so let's go ahead and use that. I'm gonna make us a hole punch right in the top center here. See our little upside down heart shape there. And then I'm gonna take a piece of twine. We're gonna cut that. Remember, just make sure you have an adult around to help you use a knife. Then you thread that through that hole we made. and tie it together at the end. Doesn't have to be a fancy knot, but it can be if you want it to. I'm just gonna do a regular degular knot here to keep it together for a little while. Well, not too long though. And there we go. Got a nice bookmark here. A little holder. And not only bookmark, you could use this as a Christmas ornament. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. But there you have it. A vegetable stamp bookmark. Well, thanks for joining us today, everybody. And hopefully we'll be back with you soon for some more fun crafts and activities.